Good morning, morning everyone. Welcome to Ecom Beyond. And welcome. Got my buddy with me, Anthony. What up? Hope everyone had a fantastic, safe weekend. Uh, we're going to go through the chat and see who's all here this morning. We got Ron Burgundy Sales. He says, first baby. What? He gets a, he gets a, he gets a broski point this morning. Let me add him in real quick before I go any farther. You want to you just go through the thing while I'm putting this in? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Good thing. Let me switch over to live chat. So I don't miss nobody. So right after uh, Ron Burgundy, whose apartment smells of rich mahogany. We have uh, <laughs> we have hot mess thrifter. What is up, Amy? Good to see you. We got what's going on, Mac? Good to see you, buddy. Glad that you're able to be here. Alexis, what is going on? She's driving. Make sure you're safe out on the roads. Make sure you're ducking and dodging that coroni. Dip, dodge, duck, dive, dodge. What? Dodgeball. Dip dog. Dodge. Oh, uh, gotcha. And then the random extra dodge. Dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. We got Craig Dodge. in the house. What's Craig. up, Craig? What's good on my man? No money, G. What's up, Hello. Craig? Good to see you, buddy. The Gate City Picker in the house. What is up, Paul? I've had the pleasure of hanging out with Paul several times recently. Really appreciate it. Got a uh, Rev resell in the house. Got a chance to watch your message yesterday, Rev. Uh, thanks for putting that out there, man. I appreciate it. If anyone's not uh, friends with Rev resell on Facebook, uh, he's streaming his sermons from his church uh, to his Facebook. So for any of you uh, other believers out there that are looking for something to engage in on Sundays when the church is closed, check out Rev Resale's Facebook page. Got DC Sales, the master of the license plate with us. What up, D? Good to see you. Got Uncle B, old school flips in the house. What's up, Uncle B? Good to see you, my man. Flipping goodies. What is going on? Good morning to you. Hopefully you're flipping tons of goodies after this weekend of sales. Cajun reseller in the house. What is going on? Kelly, the Ecom Mom Ward. The mastress of the roundhouse kick, she will bust a fool trying to trying to crouch up to her in her black belt. But Tommy, the bargain effect in the house. What is going on, Tommy? Good to see you, my man. Got Amy's epic stuff for sale. What's going on? That's a that's a new name for me to see. So I'm glad that you're able to join us today, Amy. Says, awesome. Hello, reselling family. Appreciate you being here, Amy. It's simply Dana. She's in the house. She's looking for them cookies. Got Brittany Brands. Rumor has it that she got them brands, y'all. That's what I hear. Yep. Got Moronic Pest in the house. What's going on? Good to see you. And good to see Captain Crunch in your logo there. A reseller man in the house. Good to see you today. Appreciate you being here. Lil Bunny Foo Foo. What's up, Jacob? Good to see you. The, the music buff of the world. He was destroying me in uh, Tommy 2.0's. Uh, uh, <laughs> he did a late that night. tune or whatever. Yeah, he kicked my butt. I, I, knew, I knew I wasn't going to win, but I just. Yeah. Unless we we're going to play heavy rap, that's the only chance I had. <laughs> Record crates in the house. What's going on, my man? Great to see you. Peddling Profits is here. Glad that you're able to join us. We have Tracy in the house. Tease flips. Great to see you. Infamous Stacker. What's up, Jimmy? Good to see you, my man. Jimmy. Yeah, Kelly says she's missing her martial arts class. So don't don't give her no drama, man, because she will straight up make your face into a martial arts class. Oh. Backman down there says Nate eight oh two subs. That's right. Nate, Nate cracked that uh eight hundred barrier last night, guys. So 
we're under the 200 uh, sub countdown to get this man to 1K. So if you could, guys, make sure you're sharing out the morning show today to try to get a few more people in here to get Nate some more exposure because he uh, he definitely deserves that 1,000 monetization for all the hard work he puts into growing his channel. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> since more people are home, it seems like a lot more people are watching YouTube, that's for sure. So it's been a nice uh, little thing of growth uh, organically uh, the last few days. So it's been, uh, been cool. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. She says, what, no cards today? Yeah, no, we're not doing cards today, unfortunately. We're just back to the the usual uh, morning show. So uh, I'll probably be doing a, a vlog on my channel today. So I might throw a card or two in there. We'll see. Ron says, uh, do you have your hours? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm at 4.4K hours. And then uh, Bargain Effect said he's going to do a hip-hop edition. What? Look out. Here I come. Philly Road Tech, what up, buddy? What's going on, my man? Glad that you're able to join us. So, hope everyone had a fantastic weekend, or at least a, as good as you know it can get. What up, Matt from Phoenix Flippers? What's up? Good to see you, man. I know with everything going on, it's, it's tough to really enjoy a weekend or have a good weekend, but I hope everyone made the best of it. Uh, either getting caught up with listing stuff or fan, you know, just chilling with family or, or if you're like myself, I'm still trucking it to work with, with my, uh, with my letter with, from my boss or whatever, Mr. Well, Mr. Burns's boss, I guess, gave, gave us all letters for the, uh, for the popo. So I get pulled over. So, uh, I don't know if it's necessary yet. I don't know if it went into effect yet, but they just gave it to us early just in case. They're supposed to start enforcing that in PA to starting today. <clears throat> oh, really? Like like the shutdown of businesses and stuff like that. Yeah, I saw an article somebody shared on Facebook last night. Yeah, today is the day that they're supposed to start really enforcing, um, you know, the shutdowns of certain businesses and stuff like that. So it's probably a good thing you have that. Do you have that paper on you? Be I'd be like curious to see it. It's, a, share. it's in my car, uh, laminated. Oh, it's even laminated. Mister Burns spared no expense. He made sure to look out for the kid. Yep. No, he gave he gave him out like their candy at work. There's, here, you get one. You get one. You get one. Because we're all gonna need them. Um, it basically says, uh, "What up?" I think it's a. Uh, is that Paul? Yeah, I believe so. Paul? He's he's official. He got the L, -L sizzle. But uh we got uh Cha Cha, the that uh the junking data girl. What's up? What is going on? Good to see you today. Um but yeah, we're gonna I guess we're gonna need them. So or you think it stinks is I hope Staples is open. If not, I'm gonna have to like truck to like literally UPS, which is Sort of by my work. I got a mess of packages to bring. Craig said he had a uh, video hit 10K views, I guess, overnight or whatever. So it's a year old. We need to hop in that DeLorean. That way you can give me a shout out on that video. Right. <laughs> we just need to cut and paste. Throw some beard in there. He'd be golden. Okay, so, uh, Junking Data Girl is asking where we are in PA. So, um, we're both from Pittsburgh. Um, I'm in the New Kensington area, and Nate is in the Manesson area. Motown. What? what? <clears throat> Larry Lafferty's in the house. The man, the myth, the mustache, all the way from Erie, PA. Oh, <clears throat> man. I was uh I was the weekend, Anthony. Weekend was okay. I mean, really the the big highlight of the weekend for me was opening up all the cards with you. Um, yeah, so that was, it, that was fun. That was if, uh, really cool. If you guys haven't seen it, um, they're actually believe it or not, they're probably my lowest performing uh, live streams that I've done so far. Um, but 
we had a blast with it and the the whole concept behind it was uh sourcing is very limited right now so we wanted to see if well the first time we wanted to hunt for a zion rookie which spoiler alert we may or may not have found one um and then i wanted to see if i could make money off of these football cards that i picked up yesterday so um we were able to um find some decent stuff so if you're in if you're into sports cards or anything like that, we did the opening and we were kind of talking about what to look for and you know that kind of stuff. So Amy says subscribe to all, hit the thumbs up. The reseller community is like a family of supporting friends. Absolutely. You hit the you hit the uh, nail on the nose. And you know what, Amy? Um, since you are a new name to me, I'm going to go sub to your channel right now. I'm going to sub to your channel and I'm going to give you a wrench. What? I get my YouTube uh, loaded up here on the other side. About to get that every day. I'm hustling, wrench. I might be uh, playing some music for a noise here in a second. Since uh, yep, I had my sound on. Come on, let me click the button. All right, Amy, I'm number 29 for you. All right, let me find it. Let me find her. Got a good Paul Wrench. Where is she at? Um, All right, guys, go go show one another some love. Uh, we're all about uh, supporting each other um, on the show, on both of our channels. Uh, we're I, I'm a firm believer that we're better together. Um, so I, I I really would love to see everybody get. Um, a chance to grow and promote one another. Speaking of that, we do uh, still have some open spots for anybody that be interested in coming on the show. Um, you know, we can do a specific uh, niche type show for you, or we can do a promotional show for you. Just uh, reach out to Nate or myself, and we'd be happy to, to have you on. Everyone gets a wrench. It's like Oprah over here. You get yeah, a wrench. I'm, you get a wrench. You get a wrench. I'm thirty. I'm thirty-three for subs for. So keep it going. Once you get to one hundred, you can start live stream. I believe. I think that's still what's the thing. Look, it's it's like a Larry Lafferty wrench. <laughs> he must ask you a question. Uh, the junking data girl says, "Sure, I would love to come on. We'll have to uh, set something up. Hit up me or Anthony on either Facebook." through our Facebook page or Instagram. Uh, I have my stuff either in my channel or, and I believe in my description, but you can hit, hit up either of us and uh, we'll set something up. Yeah, I've, I've had my best uh, going into like the, the, you know, the, the reselling of the topic a little bit. Uh, I had my best day on reselling this period yesterday. You did, uh, dude. So I sold one item on eBay, one item on Macari, and literally a hundred on Amazon. Uh, a good chunk of it was uh, merch for Phil, which I kind of figured some of it would, but I didn't think as much as would. I started merch for Phil in a couple different products. One I probably could have sent FDA, but I just was like, eh, it's just a few. I'm not going to send a box in. I want to get rid of them now. Um, so yeah, I mean, making good money, uh, nothing, uh, you know, that would, I would consider a price gouging or a necessary, necessary thing that people are like, you know, like the hand sanitizer or nothing like that. Cause, uh, I don't want to be that type of dude. So yeah, I'm not doing anything like that. So it's awesome right now. The, you know, I sent in. Two items through FBA, and they started selling because they got opened up uh, yesterday. Um, two items, uh, totaling 360 items. And they started selling, and then the FBA starts, or FBM started selling. So it was a really good weekend. I'm going to have to really uh, go a little bit earlier to the post office because I have so many things for them to scan. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, literally, I have a whole uh, IKEA bag. This stuff I got to send. So that's oh, all, dude. I'm pumped. 
So I'm hoping to uh, really parlay and push that into what, you know, what reselling is going to turn into, uh, you know, what opportunities that we're going to, uh, to have moving forward. You know what I mean? Uh, Cause I mean, we can't go to thrift stores anymore. Uh, yep. Some other stores are going to be starting to close and, and, other, and like that. So uh, there's only going to be a few different ways that we can really do this thing. So yeah. uh, love to hear what, what you guys have for ideas of what, what things you, you guys are planning to do or what are you doing now moving forward? And uh, what are you, what are some of your ideas there, Anthony? Well, I just want to share this and I shared this with you off uh, live yesterday because Nate and I, we pretty much, we do a lot of off, off camera hangouts and stuff like that. But I mentioned like during this pandemic, the longer it lasts, the more it favors a guy like Nate, um, someone who's like not saying it's favors Amazon sellers above eBay sellers, but somebody whose mind works like Nate because Nate already has such a firm understanding of the everyday product and uh, stuff that people need to order or want to order, um, especially like being that we can't go to thrift stores right now, we can't go to yard sales right now, we can't uh, source in a lot of uh, places that the average reseller picker or whatever is used to. Um, someone like Nate, who like literally already kills the game, like on the retail side, go into places, you know, like Walmart, Target, uh, your, your average everyday place, you know what I mean? Like that. Um, I really think it favors, you know, and, and it's showing, you know, just over a thousand dollars in one day, you know, just on everyday regular items, you know what I mean? So it, I, I commend you on that, dude. I thought that was amazing. Good hour. Definitely makes me want to step up the Amazon because my Amazon, like I was just telling Kelly yesterday, man, like my Amazon, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be having a bigger payout through Amazon this week than I will through eBay and Macari put together probably. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole different, um, thought process now than ever. I mean, yeah. Uh, and by the way, good morning to hip flipping mama. Yeah, yeah. we missed but, a couple uh, questions too, I believe. Um, uh, sorry. First thing I wanted to mention was Uncle B says he's uh 10 away from uh 200 and he's giving away a gift card when he hits there. So make sure you guys uh check out Uncle B. I'm gonna check to make sure I'm subbed, Uncle B. I'm almost positive I am. I don't you see know what. I, I'm real sorry, Uncle B. It says that I'm not. So I'm 192 for you right now. So you're eight away now, man. So I apologize for that. I could have sworn I was sub to you unless I didn't hit the bell or whatever it was. Um, let me see. Yeah. Wow. Cajun said, yeah, I was just going to say that. Uh, he said Chris the Goose had 400 merchant fulfilled orders over the weekend. That would take forever to ship. Yeah, it sure would. Like, literally, like the whole time I was like, here like saturday and you know we were doing the cards and everything was it that was saturday right the card yeah okay yeah, we, we did saturday and sunday actually okay that's right so the whole time i'm sitting there like before we're doing the cards and after i'm just printing like you know uh labels and then yeah. like you know i had stuff next to me and pack doom, doom. and then i started doing the other stuff that had to be a little more uh, a little more harder to pack, I would say. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of waited to do that last while I was just, just sitting there packing and packing. And, and it was just, it's crazy. It's just 400, I could imagine, because uh, I had a bunch when I came in from work Sunday. And I knew it was going to be like that. So I didn't want to have, like, I wanted to stay on top of it Saturday. So when I came in the Sunday after work, I wouldn't have, like, 100 or 40 or you know, anything crazy like that to pack. So, uh, 400 crazy. That's great. So Lisa C was asking, um, with everything going on or my Bible selling faster. Um, honestly, I, I feel like that stuff sells at the same rate it, it's been selling at. Um, I don't know if that's different for anyone else, but, um, I haven't noticed any kind of extra spike 
in biblical sales or even like biblical books uh, sales or anything like that. I, I actually just listed, um, damn, what was it? It was like a um, really fancy Bible set from the 1950s and I haven't sold it yet. So it's been listed maybe for a little, little less than a week. Um, it's had some activity on it. It's a pretty good moving set. You know what I mean? It's pretty sought after. So I um, guess we'll see. That'll be a good test of it. Uh, Kelly, you come one more to make bundles that sell, make up the little Easter baskets. Yeah, that's uh, that'd be a great idea. Because, um, I mean, honestly, probably a lot of people didn't grab anything for Easter because they made they thought, no, I'll just grab it. Uh, when it gets closer or they just, you know, because of kind of a little bit of the panic with the toilet paper and other stuff, people just really didn't think about, you know, grabbing chocolate and stuff for Easter. So, uh, you know, I think that is one good uh, piece of advice yeah. right there is uh, maybe gear some stuff towards Easter uh, <clears throat> on the different platforms and things like that, especially uh, Amazon, if you can create, if you know how to create a listing and everything like that. Uh, reseller man says, I've been looking for local uh, Facebook marketplace deals. Picked up a 62 Xbox 360 games for 40 bucks yesterday. That's a great deal. That's legit, man. That's a great deal. Uh, Lisa Z says, She's trying to avoid stores as much as possible. Yeah, I've been the only person in my household to really go to any stores. Like, I let I took the family out, but they just stayed in the car. They just wanted to get some fresh air, and they kind of been stuck, you know, since the start of this. So I, I felt bad. So I, we, I took them out. It was more like teasing them, I thought. But my wife thought it would be better. Uh, Cajun Reseller says Amazon did really well for me yesterday as well. Mostly toys. That is awesome. Uh, Amy's Epic Stuff for Sale says I want to learn Amazon now that I realize that I can, it can be uh, used items. Yeah, you can sell used and, uh, and new items. Um, yeah. It just it depends on you know what it is and the rankings and stuff and if you can really master you know what to look for uh to, to sell on amazon or amazon uh like with the rankings and the sell through and stuff uh you can make a lot of money heck yeah yeah this is a this is a perfect time to be an amazon seller like with everything going on because amazon sellers in my opinion are so opportunistic um you know what I mean? And like they're they're on an opportunity like while it's developing, like before it even like becomes a thing, you know what I mean? And yeah. Like this is the perfect time to, to sell on Amazon with everything that's going on. As as horrible as that sounds, but um it's just there's so much of an advantage to it. Uh Kelly said uh Kelly Common Warts had sold a bunch of books merch for yesterday. That is awesome. I sold one uh that was probably one of the first things I sold recently. Uh, I sold a book for 120 bucks that I didn't know if it was going to sell or not, so I didn't do it FBA, and it sold the other day. But I was really pumped. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of stuff, you know, they're not letting go through. So, Merch Fulfill, like, say you're like, well, I, I have an account, but I haven't done anything with it yet. This is the perfect time to, to really run with your uh, account do Merch Fulfill because – FBA is out the window for a lot of different things. Yeah. I and mean, you can cross post from Amazon to Merch, um, Macari to eBay. And then once it sells, just ship it out and, you know, you're making your good, your money and everything. So, uh, yeah, this is a great opportunity for a lot of people uh, right now. I thought about Merch fulfilling, like, some of the uh, bigger items I have. You know what I mean? Like, some of my uh, combo units and stuff like that. Just because with a lot of people being quarantined or being locked down right now, it'd be a perfect time to, you know, crack out some D DVDs, VHSs or whatever. So yeah. might be able to get like a premium for those on Amazon at this time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Rev resale says I have over 20 on eBay and I'm very and pleased. That is awesome, man. Uh, shit, man. I a lot of people that were a little bit down on eBay this, uh, this week. So I'm glad things are still, uh, running smooth for you. You must have a that that good eye, you know, picking good stuff. Yeah. My chat My, again. No. Yeah, DC sells his DVDs are really hot right now. 
Yeah, I know that the um, uh, Larry the Moustache Lafferty said uh, Moustache. You know, he's been listening and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I mean, people people are home. That, I mean, you're streaming, but there's some stuff maybe you haven't watched in a while, and people rather pay, yep. you know, X amount for a box set or or whatever. Uh, it's probably what I'm gonna do when I get home, as long as my my orders aren't too crazy uh, to pack tonight, because I'll I'll have an eight hour you know thing between starting and shipping. So uh, that'll be very interesting to see. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some box sets. And then cross poster with Macari um, tonight. That's the plan. I might even make some bundles. I think bundles with DVDs will do really well too because you can put like a comedy lot out, or if it's a season, you could just you know put a couple seasons together of like the same thing, like season one and two of this, or uh, you know if you'll have like season five and season two start together. Can and, you? Uh, can you highlight uh, Amy's epic stuff for sale? Her latest uh, question there. Yeah, because I think it's it's definitely worth answering. She I'll, says, I'll... "What cross posting app do you like best?" Well, I'm hashtag Vendu Crew, so I use Vendu. Uh, if you've never used Vendu, what it is is it's a uh, cross posting tool. Um, it, there is a charge to it. However, they offer five free listings per month and you can use, um, Vendu even like, for example, what I, what I've been doing with it is I, I want to get everything. I have an eBay on Macari. So, um, I I'm using it to take the listings I already have on eBay and move them over to like Macari and Poshmark and stuff like that. Um, you can also use it to end listings and restart them. You can use it for, um, you know, posting to all different platforms at once. Like, for example, you make one listing and it just shoots everywhere. So it's, it, I love it. it. It's it's a it's a great um, value in my opinion. Um, but there's other ones like List Perfectly. There's a lot of people here in chat. You'll see that they'll be like Ben Pooh because they like List Perfectly so much better. But um, it's it's really to each their own. Um, Nate, Nate was like very against Vendu, and he sent, since then he he's become a member of the crew. Yeah, I had some like I Vendu used to want him over. I, I won my first five listings when it first you know when they first went out for beta or whatever, and it went fine. Then I'm then I told I think Anthony and Mama because we talk a lot off the show and and behind the scenes and stuff. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna use my five listings. I'm just gonna get the 125 listing pack, and then I had some issues with uh, connecting, and it wouldn't copyright. But uh, they they figured out they figured out what the problem was and corrected it, and uh, they reset my counter, gave me an extra five listings, and then from that point on, I jumped ahead and went got the 1999 package uh, with 125 listings, and I think I cross posted about 40 of them. Uh, already are close to it. They have a lot of great uh, promotions on Macari for crossbows, and so kind of it was my way of like getting it to pay for itself because uh, you know, like get the twenty dollar coupon because I have thirty two things uh, listed, so that it like cost me. I think I think I got paid twenty four because I have the import thing too. So you know, I got a twenty dollar coupon that paid for majority of what you know it cost and. Uh, you know, it worked out pretty well. But uh, until I use all my listings up, I will not officially be Vendu crew with Anthony. I'm kind of just in the in the in the in the shade in the in the grass, trying to lurk and see if it's going to work out exactly what I want. But so far, it seems to be doing good. And these these new cross posing things are a lot, you know, very new, so they're going to have little bugs from here and there. You just got to deal with it, just like we do with eBay sometimes, you know. I just sold the uh, first football card, Nate. Nice. The Daniel Jones rookie card. What'd you get for that? Um, I took a ten dollars best offer. Nice. Uh, Kelly, call mom. Ward says uh, I got some some of the dog coloring books and colored pencils to list too. I have. I have. Uh, my wife likes getting that type of stuff. She'd be a buyer. She'd probably buy off off uh, off of Amazon. Probably one of your uh, bundles that you got. Okay, so 
Record Crate has a uh, question there. Oh. Throw that up on. Is it down some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like. I see it. So it says, will you teach how to ship DVDs, one or many? Packaging, posting, anything at all will be helpful as I have 8,000 plus in my warehouse. Absolutely. Um, the, the nice thing about DVDs, if you're selling them individually, you just throw them in a, uh, like a padded envelope and send them out. You know, that's what I do. Um, I, you know, you, and if, if they buy multiple, if it's like, say they buy like three, four, something like that, you can fit all of that in a padded envelope. Now, if it's more than that, uh, the nice thing about DVDs is they do go at media mail rates. So say you're se selling them in lots of like 50 or 100 just to try to like bang out. Since you have so many of them, you might be selling them in lots by like genre or like sets or whatever. So what you can do is you can make big old heavy boxes of them because you're going to be paying the media mail rate. And it's going to literally be like a fraction of what it would be if you're sending it priority or whatnot. Right. So, um, yeah, uh, there's some questions about um, what Vendu is and where it is and stuff like that. Um, so I'm actually going to grab a link real quick. I have a affiliate link through Vendu um, that if, if you decide to be a part of it through that, it does help the channel. Um, I'm not sure it might give you some kind of a discount too, uh, but don't take my word for it. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't had anybody actually use it yet. Rev asked if uh, y'all sold the Zion rookie card yet. Uh, no, I haven't. I, I actually haven't even listed the Zion yet. I'm like to the point of like trying to talk myself out of keeping the Zion. But I, I think that's going to be the type of rookie card that's going to really go up in value. So it's really just like an investment at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, so. what, I was, that's what I was telling Anthony. Like on the ones that we know are home runs, you know, the price for them seem kind of low. But it might be because of just everything that's going on. People just want to get in and get out of some investments or whatever. Yeah. Or just need some money. So uh, I would price it either a little bit higher just to – you know, knowing that it's going to go up in value, just kind of, you know, getting some of that investment yeah. early. Uh, but if not, then just to hold on to it and, uh, you know, kind of just wait until uh, the market hits where it needs to be uh, with everything. So yeah. um, there's no no rush on those, you know, super solid players. Now, some of the ones that are maybe on the bubble or had maybe a decent year, but Maybe it was a little better than they probably normally will play. Sell those ASAP, just for the yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to ride the, the uh, you know, get while the getting's good is what they say. So, uh, D sell D DC sell says we ship DVDs in uh, eight by six yellow bubble mailers box sets or special ones. We use uh, eight by six by four box. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, the box sets, people. Um, yeah, usually they're in like the, the like the cardboard or whatever, like them like special type of like fold out cases or whatever. So there's a little more um, fragile, I would say. So you know, I would put those in there. But if it's just a regular DVD case or whatever, definitely just a bubble mailer, pop it in, and throw it in there, and you'd be go you'd be pretty good. You know what I mean? Very rarely will you ever see any damage. You know, just make sure the bubble mailer is not super super cheap. Where it's like, you know, it's not very much bubble in there. But uh should be hey, cool. Can you throw up that uh link I put up there? Yeah. Just for those that were asking for it. So that's the affiliate link there. If you want to check it out, no pressure to actually sign up or do it. But what I always tell people is try the free mm -hmm. um listings that they give you. They give you up to five free listings and they give you access to everything it has to offer. So um, I, I would try a little bit of everything just to see if it's for you. Uh, I know List Perfectly also offers, I think they might even offer like 20 free listings. Um, and they both have different kind of pricing plans and stuff like that. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, it's helped me. Um, it's, it's pretty much put my Macari on par with eBay at this point. So um, it, it's definitely worth the 18 bucks a month I pay. Um, for the amount of listings I have up, I've already have the two sales on Macari, so 
so far so good. I'm I'm pretty pretty happy yeah. with it and the, the investment that I have and I still have like 80 listings to throw over there yet for the till uh, I think April 16th or something like that. So um, you know, it's definitely worth it, especially right now. Everything is so hot online. You know, yeah. what I mean, maybe not as much of the collectible side of things like how we're talking about the sports cards and stuff. That's more of just luxury items. Yeah. I mean, there's still people out there looking for that stuff. Maybe not as much, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, you just want your product in front of more eyes. This way you can have a better chance of making a sale. And, uh, you know, once you, you know, it's not like you have to pay $19.99 every month. Once you kind of get to a certain level where most of your store is listed, then you can bump down. Yeah. And then just every time you list something, say you get the $25 one or something, just throw them up as they go up. And then let's say you're getting behind, you just bump it up a little bit more. And but so far, I've definitely uh, either got my money back in return or, you know, with just the different deals that Macari's doing, especially on the toy side, uh, they did something between, I think it was like March 14th and 18th, where if you listed any toys, there was no fees on the, uh, like the, like action figures and collectibles yeah uh, so that was awesome so as long as it sells between um i think it was like like i said i think all the way like, up to the 19th i believe yeah, uh, april april 18th uh, you had like a month so that short period was just to get listed and once you got that listed they gave you up to april 18th with no fees which is yeah I mean, that's amazing so you can price a little cheaper and uh you know really get it pumping and, ro and rolling you know yep that's for sure. Um, see. Was a, with, uh, Amy was asking real quick um, where she can get information on like baseball cards and stuff like that. Um, the The best sources that I've found for information like that is uh, Rev Resale. Definitely make sure you're sub to him if you're not. Um, he he's actually the one that I was watching most that kind of got me wanting to get back him and uh, Bluegrass Picker. Uh, yeah. That he does a lot with uh, trading cards as well. Um, Pat Dees does some stuff with trading cards, and um, also Gate City Picker Paul. Um, he knows a lot about them as well. So those are the guys that I I would kind of follow that are within our community. Um, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about them currently, uh, just because I, I mean I had a lot of fun opening them, and I'm having even more fun watching them sell. So yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, a mix of the of your old pastime thing that we yeah. used to do, and uh, yeah, you know, we we personally enjoy sports, so it's, it's very um, very cool just to kind of you know do something a little bit different too. Like, and it know. was the only sports on this weekend. <laughs> yeah, basically, right. <laughs> we had to pretty much make the sports. Yeah, I mean, with everything going on, it, it's 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 tough, but. Uh, Hopefully, we'll get some type of sports coming soon. So, Dana asks, what do you guys think about vinyl records? Is it in more demand, too? Uh, probably, I would say probably. Um, anything that, you know, people look at, look at things people use as, like, to de-stress. Music is definitely a huge one. Um, you know, kind of just to keep their mind at ease or just you know, something they enjoy and collect too. So it kind of hits multiple layers, I think. And, um, you know, there's a lot of vinyl collectors out there that will pay up for, for some of their favorites or something they're missing other collection. So, yeah, for sure. um, that one's kind of like, yes, but you know, I'd say more. Yes. I, I would definitely put up some vinyls if I had them, especially some really good ones. Yeah. Personally, I think right now the stuff that's going to be best as far as resale value during the pandemic, it's going to be anything that people can do while they're at home. Like, so video games, toys, books, uh, you know, like records, music, media, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, maybe even some uh, like combo units and stuff like that, or, you know, stuff to, you know, people can have fun with while they're just chilling at the house. I think that stuff's going to be good. Um, and then like ev everyday items, like, like I was talking about, like, as far as, um, Amazon goes, that kind of stuff, like the, that's the kind of stuff that you're going to want to be sourcing most during this pandemic. And really, I mean, that's pretty much what is available. 
right yeah, now. Just put yourself in. Well, basically, a lot of us are putting ourselves in this position, sitting back and saying, you know, what do I need, or what are people going to be looking for, maybe forgetting or can't finding or whatever. And those are some of the items that you should definitely grab up. I, I know people selling uh, food food goods for crazy money. Uh, I mean, partially because of shipping, but, um, you know, shipping something that's a little over a pound, it's going to cost $7 at the at the least to, to ship it out wherever it's going. But, um, I mean, it's kind of where we're at right now, you know. And yeah. uh, it's simply Dan asked, is it, uh, records are medium L2? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Justin Jacobs says, good morning, everyone. Why would I not be getting a notification for lives when I'm subbed to all and, and have you all on? I don't YouTube, know, man. YouTube must be uh, getting getting crushed with uh, stuff coming on, I guess, or something, because I've heard that from a few different people, and I had the stream up half hour before, so I don't know. Yeah. I I would just say, like, in regards to Nate and I, uh, we're, we're live every single day, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., so I would say either look look for his channel or mine, and we we go back and forth every single day. So if, if it was on his channel today, it'll be 10 a.m. on my channel tomorrow, and vice versa. So whether then, you get the notification or not, I, I think most of you guys know that we're always here at this time. So Dana said that they're having some type of glitch with notifications right now or whatever. Everything's like undermanned, you know, man sure. power, so there might be something with our system that needs fixed manually and just taking a little more time, maybe. Amy um, is uh, 26 subs away from 200 right now. That's awesome. So, guys, if you're not subscribed to Amy yet, please go ahead and show her some love. She is hot mess thrifter. Um, let's help her get to where uh, she wants to be, you know. Show her some, show her some love. Lisa sees there's too much uncertainty at the moment for me to invest in collectibles for reselling in my world. Depending on what the price is, you know, with everything kind of crashing, I'm sure some of the collectible market will too, but it'll all come back. You know what I mean? It's It all always does, you know. Um, from vintage stuff to, to the good video games to everything, they always come down a little because of stuff that's going on like like right now, but that they, they all kind of, you know, return to to what they are. So just buy right, and you should be pretty golden, in my opinion. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate you dropping her link. Um, yeah, yeah. did you see what uh, Siosa said? She said that uh, she has both bells rang, and when she came to the channels, it wasn't showing. Victoria had to give her a link. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that would be happening like that. Yeah, I don't know. That's don't really know. weird. I, I did put up a little later than I usually do. I, I did around nine o'clock, but um, you know, as long as that you get that half hour before, which it definitely was, um, you know, it should be okay. Yeah, record crate, you're golden right now. Like this is the perfect time to list all that uh, that media stuff that you have. Um, yeah, he's trying to figure a way to do it online now without any employees. Yeah, what, what I would suggest is uh, just do it, like, little by little. You know what I mean? And uh, Lots are going to be your best friend with that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? The media. Uh, just like lots. Um, but you want to make sure, like, you're checking because some of those individual records could have great value, too. So, I mean, I'm sure you know this if you have all that stuff. But um, any any advice or help that you would need, feel free to reach out. Uh, kind of rare job yeah. knowledge on the card situation. Rip and Packs researched the cards on cardconnections.com. That's good to know. I gotta write that down. Yeah, because I think eBay's prices are a little uh, wonky, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, some are like way too low. Yeah, for sure. Like, then, like I, I use a, like for video games, for example, I use a website called pricecharting.com. Yeah, that's what charts, I used to. Yeah, it kind of charts it everywhere. And even if I wanted to buy, say, a certain game, it will show me where, you know, the cheapest one is and what it's sold for and so on and so forth. So uh, this is probably a similar type of site, I'm going to guess, where, you know, kind of gives you a good, a good bit of data. 
but uh, it will tell you. He, said, he says it will tell you the variations. eBay will tell you the value. Nice. Thanks, Rev. Appreciate it, man. He says I love watching Nate and Anthony. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, Warren D. So I'm a little bit behind in the chat. D has a a show going on at twelve o'clock. Eastern, so guys, remember to check that out after our show. Uh, Russo King says he found a Aerosmith live vinyl in his warehouse that's selling for twenty five to thirty bucks. It's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, Aerosmith is really uh, it's it's always really popular. I know my dad uh, had some cassette tapes from back in the day that I remember him listening to all the time. Yeah. Trying to catch up in the chat here. Philly Picker, good morning, buddy. Hope all is well on the other side of PA. Yep. He's over there on that east side. Alex is in the house. Fat Man and Flipper. What's good on, my man? Good what to see up, you. Man? Hope all is well down in Tennessee. Yeah, the 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 um I mean thing about reselling is we always have to adjust and survive and 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 go with the times and this is way different than anything we'll probably see in a very long time you know uh sourcing and just uh connecting business i mean i don't even know if i'm be able to drop this ups package off at staples uh after the show uh that i got from macari um yeah, you know, I hope I don't have to pay five bucks to have them pick it up at my house because unless they're going to waive that yeah. because of what's going on. But, uh, you know, uh, Ron Pest says, Nate and Anthony, check out Showcase Barbecue in Pittsburgh. You might uh, be able to make a deal with the owner to sell barbecue sauce on eBay, Amazon. They don't sell it there, only through their website. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. Interesting, very interesting. But yeah, I mean, like any anything that you're doing. I mean, like for example, I'm on, I'm going on shop good uh, goodwill.com and looking up lots. Now I can't pick up in yep. store, which was, you know, something I was hoping to do. Uh, even if they did it like one day a week, they just set it outside. I mean, I paid it for it already and text them and say, hey, I'm here, and they just left it outside for a quick second. I just bought a jersey on there last night. Did you? What'd yeah. You get? It was a uh, Cavalier LeBron James. It was like uh, it, the reason I bought it is because um, not even the NBA was selling that 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 specific jersey in my size. It's like the black one with like the Cleveland C, like right here. So I don't know. I, I used to collect jerseys, and I'm a bit of like a jersey nerd. So um, whenever I saw that one, and I knew that it wasn't normally made in a 4X, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna buy that." It was like 14 bucks. Chacho, he she asked, "What was that called?" Uh, sh sh shop Goodwill. Is yeah, shop shopgoodwill.com. Yeah, shopgoodwill.com. You can there's some buy now stuff, uh, and there's auctions. And if you're doing auctions, if you pick the ones that are either like super close to you, you usually can just pick it up at the store location that you're searching under because you can go under advanced searches and pick the store that's closest to you. And but right now they're doing uh shipping only unless your state's uh not under um you know kind of the lockdown stuff, which I'm pretty sure most, if not all, are right now. Uh, so they're doing shipping only. So uh, keep that in mind when you're bidding because uh, I, I want a couple of things and I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm gonna save money by just picking it up and I'll just come hang out with Anthony a little bit and. You know, yeah. we may grab something to eat or something, and that got denied real quick because they said that they're only doing shipping only. So the the one, I think either the one or the other lot that I got, they basically said they would just add in free shipping onto my other lot that I won. So that was cool. With you know, cool that they did that because uh, you know I didn't know that they were totally shut down. And they're not going to even meet or do anything with the pickups or anything because it was still an option on the, on the site. 
Um, so she she's asking what the uh, website name was for video games. That's PriceCharting.com. Yeah, PriceCharting.com. That's yeah, the best. Can- that's the best way to uh, price any kind of video games because it'll give you prices for condition too. Like, is it a complete game? Like, it has the box, the manual, everything. Right. Is it, you know, is it, they'll even give you prices for like loose. Is it just a disc? Is it just a cartridge or whatever? So, uh, that's the best site to go by. And, uh, it'll give you fair market value. And, um, you won't have to worry about like the fluctuations of eBay. Uh, Brittany has a question. She says, I have a PS2 Slim. I tested it. It powers on, but the controllers, start button, and joystick are only buttons working is that an issue with the controller not the system yeah that would be an issue with the controller very rarely it would be anything else and I mean, this is the pins like going into the you know like where the connection is with the system but that's very rare that that would be the uh, bad. the other thing is the playstation 2 controllers are notorious for breaking so if it's an original sony controller uh it it doesn't surprise me that it's like that because there's so many issues like now with that controller that uh, a lot of people were switching to the aftermarket ones because they work a lot better now. Uh, Justin Jacobs says our governor will not put us on lockdown. Some places are voluntarily closing. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's better to it's better that they are doing this. Hopefully, this would be a shorter period of time because of that. Um, we all have to just cross our fingers and hope for the best at this point. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would for for your family safety, I would try and keep indoors as much as possible. Well, the the crazy thing with this is, I was watching an interview with Donovan Mitchell. Uh, he's one of the Utah Jazz players that was diagnosed with uh, COVID nineteen, and um, he got it from his teammate Rudy Gobert. And this entire time, he's had it for like over a week now. Uh, he still hasn't gotten sick. So he's just carrying this disease and like literally it could spread anywhere. And he had it's like, unless he was tested because his teammate had it, he would have never known. You know what I mean? So like, for example, like if he had like some kind of a parent or a relative that had some kind of, you know, breathing problems or whatever, like he could have potentially like unknowingly spread a deadly disease to them. Yeah. So could have been crazy. Fatal. Yeah. It's crazy to think that, you know what I mean? Because you would think that most people would show symptoms or signs of having it, but the way this thing's working is it's people could have it and just have no idea they have it. So I thought that was pretty insane. What's up to the thrifting Goomba? Welcome. Appreciate you coming in. What's going on? Thanks for being here. We have to get you, get you on the show as well. I uh, remember, I think uh, Alex had you on his show and loved to. Hit your hit you with hit your brain with a couple questions. Love it, having different people on the show. Very cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kelly said some some places in Dallas have lockdowns. Yeah, it's, it's better to be just to be safe. Yeah. We got the. Uh, oh, where'd you go? There's Swamp Picker. What's up, Swamp Picker? Glenn, hope it's all good down there. Uh, Cajun Reseller says they got an Xbox and a PS2 that don't work. I would sell them for parts. If I were you. Yeah. You, you'll you'll know. still make some money off them. Yeah, those definitely sell. I I would say that you'll probably end up with a minimum of like ten or fifteen bucks per system broke. Swan Parker says he has a package going to GSP Singapore this morning. Nice, get her done, man. Make that money. Yeah, as far as I understand, I think all packages leaving are still going and everything like that. I don't think there'd be any issues with that. But either way, you're protected once that thing hits the uh, eBay warehouse. So, yeah, Justin says he's self quarantined. It's good, man. It's a piece of, oh, I do, Alex. I'm I'm alone all week. My husband's all here on weekends, but works in Palm Beach County, so I worry. I have asthma issues. I hope, I hope you're okay, Lisa. Stay safe. Yep. Same with Ciosa. You got to make sure that you're 
she just said that she's in the uh, you know the high risk category. So you got to be got to be careful. Yeah, definitely. Just make sure just wash your hands extra and keep some sanitizer if you're going to travel. Um, yeah, you know, be very keep social distancing is something that even I'm trying to do more and more of, uh, especially at work because I'm still interacting with a lot of different people, truck drivers. Um, you know, and they're coming from all over the place, so um, it's hard, yeah. man. This is my, sure. my job that I'm doing, you know. Betty Webb says, I'm not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Betty. Good to Hi, see man. you. Sorry if we missed you, but hello. Thank you for being here. We yeah, appreciate you. Sure. I apologize. The chat sometimes jumps uh, the stream yard, so I apologize if I did miss you. Always if nothing you. else, we can always just blame Nate for it. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the blame. Either that or we'll just uh blame old good old Mr. Burns, you know. <laughs> Looks like he's trying to lick your ear. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was, that was, that was scary. <laughs> Gives you those flashbacks. <laughs> quick 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 Mr. Uh, Burns update. He actually came in real quick on on Sunday. He calls me. Well, first he calls me and goes, "Hey, is uh, is the is the cooling system running?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Why wouldn't it be?" And then next, you know, like I go on break and I punch out, and literally, like, as soon as I go to sit down on the bench and smoke and vape outside, his head pops out the door, and he's not even supposed to be there. And literally, I just talked to him two minutes ago. I'm like, "Did you just teleport here just to make sure that I clocked out on break or something?" But uh, other than that, he was actually pretty cool for once. Uh, this weekend, so maybe he uh, flipped his uh, switch a little bit and decided to be the one of the cool guys for once. I just found out that my coworker I work with is going to be off all weekend, so that is going to be fun. A lot of good positive thing there is I'll easily get my eight hours a day versus I have to try and stay busy and. Uh, you know, find something extra to do that I usually don't want to do. So, wait, I think I missed something up here. Sis, are you pregnant? Congratulations! The baby boom! Congratulations! That's awesome. I'm surprised my wife hasn't tried to jump on my bones lately. Try to get one. I've been hiding in the basement sleeping, I guess. <laughs> okay, basically, we didn't miss her. She was just trying to be funny. For anyone to know what I was eating, I grabbed a few gummy bears. Sometimes my sugar gets low, so I keep something sugary around. Them. Grab a couple little handfuls. Knock it back up. What up, Harlan? This is, I'm late to the party. Always good to see you, buddy. Hope all is well down in Alabama. Dave Rubino's in the house, too. So just hiding out, listing books. A little bit slow for books. Not a new problem. What up, Dave? Good to see you. Alex likes the piano in your basement, Nate. I play that from time to time. I got that at the Goodwill the other day. Yeah. Actually, about a month ago. Dollar. Good deal. Yeah, yeah Rev. Look, because gummy bears are the bomb. Pineapple are the best. I like them all. I, I'll just take like, you know, like four or five of them at a time, just stuff them in my mouth. I like the mixture flavor. So, uh, my wife bought so much toilet paper, I had to figure out what to do with it. So, uh, I figured I'd make a hat. How's it look, everyone? <laughs> look fabulous. Fabulous. That's an expensive hat, man. What's that, like 40 bucks right there? At least. This is <laughs> a Charmin right there, too, you know? Yeah. Keeps right. my booty, booty uh, not chapped and clean, you know? <laughs> there you go. So what, are, what are some things you're doing, Anthony, the, to uh, kind of keep things rolling, you know, with everything going on, you know what I mean? I know we're, we're doing the cards, but uh, what other things are you trying to like implement a little more than you normally would, I guess? Just I'm just sour sourcing more everyday items. 
Like that's, that's really what it is. And just uh, different types of items that people would, you know, want to use during the lockdown like it is, you know what I mean? Like the cards, like there's people probably getting more into their card collections now because the fact that there's nothing to do. So yeah. why not like order new cards or whatever, you know what I mean? Or, you know, same with the DVDs, the Blu-rays, whatever right now, you know what I mean? Video games. Like I, I sold through uh, a, a good bit of video games this weekend just because probably people were bored. I've been really, I've been really hitting up Goodwill uh, online, find some great stuff. I saw they, someone even donated a Michael Jordan rookie card. I don't know if it was really legit or not, but um, like that's my first thought when looking on there. Like I seen a Mark Jacobs watch, and I'm like, is this stuff real? Or is this authentic? And they actually do the research for it. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm sure they do. And if it's something that you may, maybe they're not really give me enough information to m let you know that it's real you can message them and they kind of re they respond pretty quick even with everything going on yeah uh, uh, maybe worst case scenario like if you do it like late night like i usually i do i don't expect them to respond at three in the morning or whatever but uh they usually hit me up the next morning with an email hey thank you so much amy appreciate that um did you guys hear about the whole uh, GameStop reopening today thing? So they were under that big backlash where they were trying to claim to be a uh, necessary business because they provide entertainment for people on lockdown. And uh, then, like, the police, like, went and shut them down so they weren't allowed to have people in their store. Uh, they sent out an email last night, and I got it because I'm on their email chain. And so what, what they're doing is they have this uh, letter they're supposed to show to law enforcement where they're the only employees are the ones that are allowed in the store. And they got this new thing where you can go on their app and you can like actually put through like a uh, order for, you know, whatever video games you want to pick up. And basically you come to their door now and they'll have somebody meet you at the GameStop door with like your video game order. <laughs> so I was like, man, that is so like ghetto. But uh, GameStop's about that paper, man. They want they, they want to make that money. Look, I can save three percent on Rakuten on on GameStop. There you go. Let me get, let me see where some I might want. Yeah, I've heard that. Um, Greg, he says GameStop is horrible to their employees. I I started building an order on there and I didn't buy it for some reason, but uh, yeah, I've always find decent deals on here. Yeah. They got their deals of the day and collectors week. Uh, what do they got? Brittany says Best Buy is doing that too. Well, with uh, at the door, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, for some of these companies, they're like, you know, like GameStop was always kind of on the fringe of, you know, still, you know, being able to, to conduct business and stay alive. It's either that or they're going to have to basically go bankrupt. You know what I mean? So, yeah. They're just doing what they got to do, man. And, you know, I can dig it because, you know, we can all understand how things are, you know, yeah, definitely. For all of us. I mean, I, like I've been doing good, but I know not everyone is. And, you know, it's tough. I mean, it's a whole different mindset of, of just, you know, collect or buying and, and, and just sourcing and, you know, everything. So, um, you know, no one could predict this six months ago or whatever saying like well last year at garage sale i'm gonna go pick up some some masks and some other stuff and then every time i see a uh, couponer i'm gonna buy up all their sanitizer for the last six months now then that would be different but no one knew this was coming yeah you know so uh we just have to just be very uh up with the times and, and see what, what what everything is going on with you know uh, record crates is curb, to check that out curbside pickup is awesome too as well as porch drop off uh, i know walmart if you do um pick up with them i was on uh dumpster diver dad's channel and they gave him a 10 percent coupon for doing a pickup uh of an order so you can get a little little couponage for uh you know dropping with them like that so that's pretty cool Hey, good morning, Lynn Perlini. Thank you so much for joining us. Jody Meetama's in the house. 
what is going on? He says, congrats on surpassing 800 date. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. We need to give this dude a push, guys. I'm telling you, help, help, help me help him get to that 1K. Push it. Yeah, I push hope, it real good. I hope to hit 1K and really just devote even more time to my YouTube as possible. Really want to start doing some more stuff with it. Uh, I was talking to Anthony about doing some pre-recorded and stuff and some different ideas that we have uh, moving forward, even, even you know, with me solo and stuff. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be pretty awesome, especially if you want to learn some of the Amazon game um, and uh, maybe even see a glimpse of what I'm buying. I'm going to start doing some different videos where you know, I'll actually take you shopping, show you A to Z what I do on Amazon. And, you know, you see it A to Z and then you all, I'll show you the end result of some different things. So this way you could see like kind of what my mind is, is thinking moving forward or when, when I'm uh, sourcing and what I, what I hope to get and what I got and different things yeah. like that. Never ending saga, what is up? See you. What up? Yeah, a lot of people are saying that the Walmarts uh couldn't do pickup. No no slots. They said everything they wanted we wanted was sold out. Betty, where are you located? Betty just said that they put them on lockdown starting tonight at midnight for at least three weeks. That's crazy. Senator Governor's on right now. Yeah, we're at 802. I'm hoping to keep keep it rolling. I, I've had a nice little surge of organic growth, which is the best kind of growth. And, yep. uh, you know, shout out to you guys for coming in and supporting me and, and me and Anthony. And, uh, you know, just liking, commenting. If you're sharing out, you know, that's, that's awesome. Like whenever these, you know, these videos could, Get, you know, we're off the air. Leave a comment saying what you like, what something maybe you want to see, and all that activity helps push uh, the videos and our lives out. So, yep. Uh, if you could, anyone could do that, we'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Jennifer Hayes says we start in Delaware tomorrow at 8 a.m. till May 15th. Wow. wow, that seems that seems very far ahead. Yeah, so I I would say at this point, like knowing that most states are doing this, we are most likely not going to have a uh, reseller meetup on April the eighteenth. Yeah, we, we might as so, well uh, definitely uh, cancel that, which we were always kind of figuring that was the case. But yeah, I'm sure. a very positive guy. You know what I mean? Like. Um, you know, especially since we're doing live shows and stuff like that, I don't want to be part of the the pandemic of, of news outlets and different people, you know, spreading fear. You know, have res I've always had respect for it, but uh, I've had a positive thought, uh, hoping that it would kind of, you know, be be kind of on the downslope during then. But of course, that's not happening, or they're just really really locking down everything just to hit so, the break on it soon jimmy's saying so if our state goes on lockdown do we put our ebay stores on vacation mode um personally if the post office is a open or b able to do like at home pickups i'm gonna leave mine open and keep running business as usual for as long as i can um that, that's the plan at least to make sure to schedule them pickups um because that means that they'll they should pick up your mail they they talked about um whenever they had the spanish flu and other things that the mail system never shut down that's why they always say you know uh snow sleet hell rain you know the mail will always be there and yeah that's basically the case so far so as long as the post office stays open 
most definitely keep your eBay stores rolling. Um, depending on what you got, it could be some really good stuff. You make a lot of good money, uh, or you know, possibility to make some good money, or somebody might want something you have. So uh, it's only going to help with your situation at home and and with your business uh, moving forward. You know, once everything gets kind of taken care of here and in the good old United States. But uh, I I highly doubt that the UPS will close. I mean, it would really be a, a, a huge um, thing. If the, yeah. Basically, two things that would cause riots and people to go crazy would be internet going down and the mail yeah. service going down. Uh, if those two things go down or whatever, we know we're in some serious sh shizzle, doo doo brown. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think right now is a great time to be uh, in e-com. It really is, guys. Like, we are so blessed right now to the to the point where we can still reach our customers without actually ever having to come in contact with them. So, um, I'm using this time to really try and you know making a little bit more money than normal on some things, and I'm really giving that push that I really wanted to, to get towards that dollar amount to really hopefully, you know, just say Mr. Burns deuces, man. And I'm going to do this myself. You know what I mean? I mean, of yeah. course I wouldn't do it now by choice because of what's going on, but, um, you know, because of, you know, I want to go full time when this is all said and done. Yeah. To give, you know, being able to, to stack and, and flip and flip fast and make some good money on some stuff. Uh, it's all going to help me get closer to my goals and and uh, my business, uh, you know, hopes and promises for it. Right, Ciosa? Ciosa says, oh, my God, did we take an hour and ten minutes before we had the first mention of the Doo Doo Brown? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's Unfortunately. Been... You, you know, it's an uncommon uh, episode of the show if uh... – <laughs> We uh, get this far into it, and we're just now finally getting around to Doo Brown. What's up, uh, West Max Gary? Gary's in the house. Jennifer A's asks, uh, how do you schedule pickups online or have to call the post office? Um, the only thing that you do is you go on the Actually, website. I'm, I'm on the website right now. Let me share my screen. Right. I, I was literally just uh, going to go through and schedule pickups just for – like the next month or so just to be on the safe side um, in case something were to happen with them shutting down like the physical post office location to the public. And if you have like a huge, huge shipment, like I, I could have did it for mine today, but I just figured I'll just go down today and, you know, make sure it, it, it's all good. But, you know, they, as long as you, um, I always tell them to knock and then they, I get to see them scan everything. So this okay. way, you know, all your stuff's in, in good shape. So essentially you're going to go to mail and ship schedule a pickup. Then from here, where should we pick up your packages? You put in all of your information. Um, and then it should have like a check of availability thing here. Um, here, hold on. Let me stop sharing. So I put in my private information and then I'll put it back up you guys to see and then make sure to pick um during your mail service because it's free because yeah. you would have it at like you know them make a special trip at a special time they charge i think 24 dollars to do that or whatever but you have to do it before midnight the day before and that goes for all uh pickups fedex U usps uh ups right, i'm back up nate if you want to throw that back up there that goes for all of them. So as long as you're in one minute before and it's scheduled in, you're golden. So okay. so it'll ask if there's a dog at this address. So I say yes, even though I have little ankle biters. Um, will where you leave your packages. So you can go here and you can select. Um, we, we can't see the pull down, but. Oh, you cannot see the pull down? No. Okay. But so, it's like a bunch of different options from front door, back door, you know, bunch okay. of different ones. Yeah. So essentially what I'm doing for mine, since I live in the hood, I'm going to say other and I'm going to enter instructions um, to well, they, knock well, a door. There's knock a door. Knock a door. Yeah. yeah. 
That's what I'm, I'm, always, I'm always in the basement, though. That's the problem. So. And then I put ring, yeah, knock on door, ring doorbells. This way, if I hear the doorbell, I know, yeah, I better run upstairs or whatever. Yeah. So you do that, and then. So for Anthony, so for Anthony, he should uh, put. He's in the basement. Please wait two, two to four minutes or something. You know, Casey's, you know, really in the basement. And he, and he's surrounded by packages and gets takes him a second to get up there. I'm just going to say, I I work in the basement, knock loudly. Yeah. So. Good. Okay. So then let's see. Today is the 23rd. So it'll give you basically what days you want to do it. And like I literally want to schedule it. Oh, is it not? How do I get it to do like for a long time? You have to pick well, you just pick one day at a time. Yeah, you just do, you can only do one day at a time. That's booty. And then I mean, this is what I don't understand because I never know how many orders I'm gonna have. Well, as long as you put in like for example, like for me, I got say forty or so, you know. Yeah. If you have forty and but you have fifty they just want a like, general ballpark. Do they need to spend out a such special pickup, like, or can your mailman just carry it in his uh, bag with him? Like, do you have two going out? Yeah. You know, for me, they're gonna need to spend a special guy if I had them pick up today, which I didn't. So, it, it's just a uh, general ballpark. So this way, they know if there's gonna be room on the truck, or you know, so, like I've had people um, come special you know, super early just because of the amount of stuff I had going on. So that's it. That's all you do. Oh, there's your personal information. Oh, my bad guys. Yeah. Oh, well, don't stalk me and or do anything crazy. So yeah, cool. But yeah. I mean, that's basically essentially the same thing you do with, uh, no, I think there's a way to do it though. Like, cause I've, I've heard, yeah, you're you're right. I, I do need to get a uh, video doorbell lifting Goomba. I, I'm actually thinking about um, once the next uh, coupon hits on Macari because I have like twenty dollars um, credit coming my way. I may get a ring doorbell. Yeah, my wife wants one of those for sure. It's just easy to just have that, especially for my Amazon stuff. What is all this stuff coming off my credit card all of a sudden? eBay just took one hundred sixty dollars from me. I thought they weren't taking money off anybody this month. They're the mine. What what in the world are they talking about? Talking about deferring fees or whatever. I'm dead broke right now. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, video doorbell is awesome just to have for Amazon. You know, I, I don't want to put 10 boxes on the front porch and then, you know, someone rolls past and they see it and they know kind of what I do or whatever. Yeah. And then next, you know, uh, I have nothing on my porch, you know, for the USP, USPS guy. So I just usually leave it inside my door and have them knock and then the wife, uh, you know, open the door and then they'll just take it from the inside and, and, and carry it out to the truck or whatever. So, DC Cell says you have to ask for deferred fees. So, by deferred fees, is it still accrue? They just don't charge it to you right away, or do you just like is it like they forgive whatever fees you would be charged? Any info on that would be super helpful. Okay, so Christina Moore says you had to apply for the fee deferral. It was a link in the email. Okay. I never got any type of email. Yeah, I don't think I did either. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Lisa. Lisa C says deferred means later to me. They add it to your April invoice, I think. Okay. Yeah, I I would prefer just for them to take it so I don't like get hit like extra hard next month. Yeah. Heck with that.
it would be cool if they just waved them. You know what I mean? Which is what I, whenever I first heard about it, I kind of thought that's what they were going to do. They were going to just waive the fees. So, but Nate's gone. We can take over his channel now. Yeah, double next month. Yeah, no thanks. I'd rather just pay whatever fees I have now and then next month just the same thing. I wish that eBay was more like Macari in the sense where, like, say, they are taking their 12 or whatever percentage. So, like, they would just take it out and then have, you know, just give you whatever you make off of it rather than having you have to save X amount of money every month for them to just take a lump sum. Yeah, I thought they were deferring yeah, fees for everybody. I, I never knew. No one ever said anything I've, that I heard about anything like that. So they added it to your April invoice, I think. I don't know. They just took 150 bucks for me. For no reason. Yeah, because you probably didn't apply for it, did you? I, I didn't even know that that was a, a, a thing that you had to do. I remember... Uh, Tommy talking about their deferring rates, but he, I never heard him say anything about having to apply or or uh, anything like that. Oh well, one last thing I got to pay for, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Alex says this just then. If you run out of coffee creamer like I did, use condensed milk. There you go. Condensed milk. The uh, only thing I ever used that for was uh, pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's a very, very good creamer because it's really thick and rich. Yeah. I'm trying to find someone. Someone said something. That I want to go back to look for it. Can't find it. Oh, I think this is what it is. I agree 100%. If Amazon is pushing shipments out by a month, people will be looking at FBM and eBay to get sooner. Yeah, like right now for my uh, my FBA, um, I had 194 orders in the last seven days. And out of that many orders, 134 are still pending. But some of that is uh, still moving around the warehouse too. So that's part of the reason. But, um, yeah, like all my FBM orders, they're, they're literally on the way right now. So, um, I'll get a lot of great feedback and, uh, hopefully, and, uh, some happy people. Um, uh, says everyone got a notification. They're selling a, a announcements on deferring the fees. I, I didn't see anything. I didn't either, but I wasn't looking for it. I just figured it was just a, a system-wide thing that they're pushing for another month. Oh, man. I love eBay right now. I know people are buying, like, uh, like baby formula and stuff because it's... Um, for, for using for milk and stuff like that. Because the regular uh, milk is gone, or the prices were, were higher. I know my wife said that was uh, something they said on Facebook. Tommy said the look in your seller hub under selling announcements. I'm pretty sure I, when I looked, I didn't see anything. Yeah, at least they're limiting how many canned food items that they can buy there. Yeah, literally, you know. There's no announcement. Like, usually they always have something right here. There's nothing there.
Brittany just shared a link. Well, it's too late now for me to get the first. I'm eating gummy bears, Lynn. Hopefully somebody can get the fur or whatever if they need it. Because the beer didn't. My selling announcements would be right at the top. So Tracy's asking, how long do you leave all the notification info in your inbox of email, such as sales and offers? I leave it until I do something with it. Once the item is shipped out, I put it in a save folder. I see what they're talking about now. Which I don't know why they would put that all the way at the bottom. I've never had these announcements here. They're always up top. Like if they would say something about yada, 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 or whatever, it would always be at the top. So Amy's asking... When will we get the eBay discount code for supplies? I'm um, pretty sure April 1st. Yeah. So if you haven't used it yet um, in this first quarter, make sure you use it ASAP. Gummy bears and peanut butter. Never tried them together. I like them both individually. Yeah, I see them now, but I've never... I've never had any announcements at the bottom, bottom of the page like that before. I've always had like stuff about stuff that they're doing or whatever. It was always at the top of my thing all the time, like right where the the main overall overview and everything like that listings, like right underneath that. Like it's always been there as long as I remember. So unless that's a special section they just made recently. And uh, I just haven't seen it, but it's I I know I've seen stuff for Squaresoft uh, loans and stuff like that not that long ago because I applied. The small and medium businesses are the core of our community. We know that many people are facing uncertainty given them how much change is continuing due to COVID-19. We've asked many when we asked many of our sellers what support is needed right now, help with cash flow and flexibility payments was the top of the mind. With that, we're going to defer most selling fees for eligible store subscribers for 30 days. If you are an eBay store subscriber and could use help with payback, click here. Well, they said by Wednesday, March 25th. Okay, well, I could still do this, but why did they take the $160 off me? Is there about their money? Are they going to refund me? Okay, I clicked that link and it brought me to another, like, it didn't bring me to anything where I, oh, man, this is crazy. Uh, Tracy, I'm not sure. He's asking if um, it's the Johnny Carson show behind me. It very well might be. Um, I just was looking for something like talk show hosty, so... Lisa said that they pushed the uh, IRS deadline to July now, which is good. Okay, after I, I'm really confused right now. Lynn's asking if you can still go to the bank. As far as I know, I'm not entirely sure, though. So I clicked that little thing. Here, I'll go back. And so I clicked here, or it says click here or in your email on Wednesday, March 25th to, for complete details on how to request support. So I'm guessing it's for, I guess, I guess this last thing I just paid was uh, not kind of, they're going to do th this whole next month, I guess, which a lot of people aren't going to have very much fees or whatever sales. So I don't, I don't know. So I click on it where it says click here or your email. So I click there. It brings me to the latest announcement which is not anything where I can fill out or do anything for anything. 
One thing I'd be curious about, if you guys in the chat could put it out there, um, any of you that have work that's being dis disrupted by this um, virus, uh, if you if you are not able to, to work in some way, shape, or form, put a one. If it's not affecting you, put a two. Like a giant loop. I guess I gotta come back on the twenty fifth. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, that was fun. There's a lot of people affected. Dang. Sucks. Yeah, luckily we haven't been affected yet, just because. I mean, really, the only affection I would have, the only effect I would have, I should say, is not being able to go to, like, yard sales and stuff like that, thrift stores. But for the most part, I'm able to uh, still kind of do what I need to do to resale. And my wife's in healthcare, so she's pretty safe, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm about the wife, too. That's one of the few uh, central businesses that won't be affected, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, the question was, uh, put a one in the chat if, you're, if your work is affected by the virus outbreak and everything like that. And put a two if you're not affected by it or whatever. Oh, man. My wife does. Made one. I put a pit, picture of it or whatever. Uh, it was like a, a Marvel one. I think I put it up on Instagram. Pretty cool. She did a. It was like a D D Y I type uh, one she made. Worked pretty good. I wonder if uh, they'll crack down on people selling those now. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Cios said she'll buy one. Nate's gonna like make his wife into like a sweatshop, making all these masks now. <laughs> um. I um. I'll send you uh, my wifey's link for her Facebook thing. So then you guys can just talk about design or whatever. I don't know how many different ones she's going to make or whatever, but she, uh, she made a couple for herself. Says they have some of Poshmark, too. So I don't want med grade ones. It's healthcare needs, needs them. Yeah, but you're Pergo. Pergo my echo now, so you better protect yourself here, girl. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Gotta stay healthy. That's for you and for that baby. My phone is blowing up. Yep. Not anything good, though. Well, I think we're going to shut it down. Got to do a little bit of running around before I can get to work, and I cannot be late. So, anything you want to say, Anthony, before we shut it down? No, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning on my show, or my show, my channel, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, make sure you guys uh, come over for that. Uh, I'll be scheduling the show out here shortly after this is over. So, you can go and hit that uh, bell to remind you to come hang out with us tomorrow. I'll be releasing a vlog today on my channel, just like kind of what I'm doing today and stuff like that. So make sure you look out for that. That'll be out this afternoon sometime. All right, guys. I'm going to work. Hope you guys have a good day at work as well. Listing, and if you are still out there running amok and working, 
Hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, if you see the bottom scroll there, D is going live at 12, uh, 12 Eastern. Yep. So go get her watch. Uh, she's a very awesome person. We support her. So check her out. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day. And keep plugging away. And keep selling. And keep keep being positive. That's the main yep. thing. Be positive. There's a lot of negativity out there. Be positive because that could make someone's day just that much better. Yep. So, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.